Enphase IQ Battery 5P, Mango Power M battery system. Which is the better solar and energy storage system for your home as we go into 2024? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two exciting battery products in today's video. All right, so in today's video, we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the Enphase IQ Battery 5P and the new Mango Power M battery system. Now, we're gonna be doing the evaluation across six categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum total score of 30 points. Now, those categories are power, including continuous power and peak surge power, the storage capacity of the battery, uh, the warranty term of the battery, uh, of course, the cost of the battery and the cost to have it installed, the ease of installation of the battery for the contractor, and then finally, what I like to call the X Factor. And what the X Factor is, is a way where I can award additional points to one of the two products where there may not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but where some of those unique design features could have major impact for you as a system owner or as a contractor. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, first up here is the Enphase IQ Battery 5P. Now, in terms of power output, each Enphase IQ Battery 5P provides 3.8 kilowatts of continuous power with peak surge power up to 7.7 .7 kilowatts. Uh, now again, that's not a whole lot in terms of home battery power, but in most cases, you're gonna be installing minimum two of these batteries together so you can double those numbers. Now, in terms of storage capacity, each Enphase IQ Battery 5P provides five kilowatt hour storage capacity. That's actually where, where the number 5P comes from, is five kilowatt hour storage capacity. Uh, again, that's on kind of on the low end in terms of a total system capacity, but again, in most cases, you're gonna see minimum two batteries installed. So in that case, you would double that to 10 kilowatt hour storage capacity for a two battery system. Now, in terms of the warranty, Enphase offers a market leading 15 year battery warranty. Um, I've gotta say in this particular category, Enphase hands down is the winner. They were the first to go to a 15 year warranty standard for their lithium iron phosphate home batteries. Now, in terms of cost, Enphase is higher on the end of the spectrum in terms of total cost per kilowatt hour for the installed system. Uh, and the reason I say that total cost per kilowatt hour is because if you, if you consider side by side the Enphase system with the Mango system, which we'll talk about in a moment, you're going to have to install four Enphase batteries to achieve what one full Mango power battery provides in terms of capacity. So if, if we look at cost of the individual batteries, doesn't tell us the whole story. What we wanna look at is total cost per, per kilowatt hours of installed storage capacity. Uh, and again, in looking at it from that lens, Enphase tends to be less, less price competitive. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I would say the Enphase IQ battery is sort of middle of the road. Um, although the batteries are smaller, each individual battery still weighs over 170 pounds. So in terms of trying to make things easy for the installer, I'm not sure that Enphase really, really nailed that on this particular battery product. You still have a 170 pound plus piece of equipment and because the batteries are smaller, you have to install more of them and you've got to run conduits and different connectors between them. So I don't think that Enphase really nailed it in terms of making this super easy for the installer. However, I am gonna award Enphase plus three X-Factor points um, not even so much for the battery itself, but because of some of the unique capabilities that are available on the Enphase platform. So when we look at the Enphase platform today, um, of course, it's not just micro inverters or batteries, but of course, Enphase is developing a bi-directional EV charger. You'll be able to tie that in with their system. So kind of, kind of think of it as the, the electric vehicle becomes like an additional expansion battery for the system, uh, as well as generator support and intelligent load control. So all this is part of the Enphase IQ platform. Of course, if you're gonna be using Enphase's battery, you're going to be on the Enphase platform or the Enphase ecosystem. All right, now let's take a look at the Mango battery system. All right, next up is the Mango Power M battery system. Now, in terms of power output, the Mango system provides 12 kilowatts of continuous power with surge power up to 24 kilowatts, which uh, again, is, is enough for whole house backup. So if you're talking about wanting to provide a true solar with whole house backup with the ability to start heavy loads like central air conditioning compressors, that 24 kilowatts peak surge power 
really comes into handy and for, frankly really helps this battery product stand out against other smaller batteries in the landscape. Now, in terms of storage capacity, each Mango Power M battery cabinet provides up to 20 kilowatt hours of energy storage. Um, in my opinion, this is, this is excellent. Uh, and if you had to, you can achieve a full house backup with just what you see pictured here, the Mango Battery Hybrid Inverter, as well as the Mango Power M cabinet with all four battery cells to achieve that full 20 kilowatt hours of energy storage. Um, but if you choose to, to, to have more storage, you can add additional battery cabinets up to 80 kilowatt hours total storage. Now, in terms of the warranty on the product, Mango came in pretty standard with that 10 year warranty. But in terms of cost, I think this is where you're gonna find Mango is very cost competitive. Now, I know many of you would like me to be able to give you specific pricing on these videos. I'm, I'm afraid I can't do that. Depending on where you're watching out there, which state you're in, which contractor you're working with, and then which wholesale distributor they use to purchase their equipment, you're gonna have slightly different pricing. Uh, but overall, when compared to the Enphase system, I anticipate total cost per kilowatt hour of the entire system to be 10 to 15% lower cost. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I really like what Mango did with their battery cabinet. Because if you look at the battery cabinet, if you look at it like just as it's pictured here, it kind of looks like a, like a double stack Tesla Powerwall 2. But if you look at the battery cabinet from the side, you'll see that there are actually four different slots for four different battery modules. So each battery module provides five kilowatt hours of storage. So with all four of them filled up, you have 20 kilowatt hours of storage in a single battery cabinet. But if you look at the overall system here between the inverter, the battery cabinet and the battery modules, no individual piece of equipment weighs more than 119 pounds. And in fact, it's not even the battery cells or the battery cabinet that, that weighs the most, it's the inverter. So yes, it's gonna be a two, a two person lift in, in almost every case, a two person lift to get that inverter on the wall. But once you have it, you know, once you have that set, there's no reason why a single individual or a single technician could not perform the battery cabinet placement and then the installation of the individual battery cells. So I like, what, I like what Mango did here as far as ease of installation. And in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna award the Mango system plus three X Factor points for a few unique design features. Um, number one, it provides generator support as well. So I've, I've said this in many times now, if you want maximum redundancy, especially if you're in a fully off-grid environment, you wanna have that generator support option so that if you hit a patch of bad weather and your solar panels can't keep up with recharging the battery, all you have to do is fire up the generator for a few hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go back to running off of battery power. Also, the Mango system is an AC and a DC coupled system, which is excellent because if you're using it to retrofit to add battery storage to existing solar, you can connect it in an AC coupled fashion, meaning all, the, all that connection can happen at the AC circuit breaker panel at ground level. You don't have to rewire your existing solar panels or change your existing solar inverter. So for interoperability and retrofit, AC coupling provides a lot of advantages. Uh, but it's also a DC coupled system. So if you're gonna be adding on new solar from scratch, or maybe you're, you're gonna AC couple to an existing solar, but then you wanna add some additional solar capacity, that additional solar capacity can be connected in a DC coupled format. So it goes directly to the hybrid inverter. And then you can take advantage of the more efficient direct DC to DC solar and battery charging. So being both an AC and a DC coupled system gives you a lot of flexibility uh, as an owner and as a contractor, especially if you're doing retrofit battery installations. Um, but also the Mango Power System provides a three phase power output option. Now, I know many of you watching this are doing solar or looking at solar for your homes, or maybe you're a residential contractor that installs solar on homes. But when you talk about large apartment buildings or commercial and industrial facilities, having a three phase power output option means that you can take advantage of solar and battery storage in a number of different places where with your traditional home batteries, like the Enphase 5P, you, you really can't do that. So to summarize here, in terms of power, you're looking at 3.8 kilowatts continuous with 7.7 .7 surge on the Enphase versus 12 kilowatts continuous, 24 kilowatt surge on the Mango Power, uh, five kilowatt hour storage capacity for each Enphase battery and up to 20 kilowatt hour storage capacity for each Mango Power M battery cabinet. Enphase does win on the warranty with the 15 year standard warranty compared to Mango's 10. 
uh, end phase, a little bit higher than Mengo in terms of total cost per kilowatt hour on the installed system. Three out of five points for end phase in terms of ease of installation. Not terrible, but nothing really special that's gonna make the installer's job easier. Uh, Mango gets an extra point here because of their, their modular battery design, how they broke it down into smaller individual pieces so that you know, fewer technicians would be required and no special lift equipment you know, to, to mount the equipment in place. And then both products receive plus three X-Factor points because of some of the unique design uh, features on their platform. So if we total it up here, Enphase receives three out of five on power, two out of five on capacity. The, the battery is just too small. Five out of five on warranty. They, they do have an excellent warranty. Three out of five on cost, three out of five on ease of installation, and plus three X-Factor points because some, some of those other features that are available on the Enphase platform for a total score of 19 points. Now for the Mango Power M battery system, I'm awarding five out of five on power. This is a high power output battery capable of whole house backup. Also five out of five on storage capacity. You're talking about 20 kilowatt hour storage capacity in a single battery cabinet. Three out of five on warranty. Gotta be honest, Mango did not do anything spectacular here on the warranty. Um, but four out of five on cost. Again, when we're talking total cost per kilowatt hour of the system, Although I can't quote specific pricing, I expect Mango Power to be at least 10 to 15% lower total cost per kilowatt hour of installed capacity. Uh, in terms of ease of installation, Mango also receives an extra point here, four out of five I'm scoring it, in terms of ease of installation because of how they broke that battery cabinet down, allowing you contractors out there to potentially do the installation with less equipment and perhaps fewer technicians have to be on that job. And then three X-Factor points for some of the unique features we talked about, the generator recharge option, uh, the fact that it allows AC and DC coupling, so great for retrofit adding battery storage, as well as more efficient DC to DC solar to battery charging if you're adding new solar capacity to the system, and as well as having that three-phase power output option. Add all that together, Mango receives a total score of 24 points. Now folks, again, when we do these comparison videos, the point is not to say, hey, this battery is, is better or this battery is better. It's really to talk through what are some of the issues, what are the specifications, what are some of the unique design uh, features and characteristics so that you can make an intelligent decision about which battery system is going to be the best for your project. And especially for you contractors out there, if you're new to battery storage, one of the things you really need to consider is this ease of installation because features and benefits are great, but a lot of installation is about logistics. You know, how do I get this piece of equipment from point A to point B? How do I lift it on the wall? Are there special vehicles, special lift equipment? Are there more labor technicians required? All that is gonna to contribute to your profitability or loss as a contractor, which frankly should trickle through uh, to you homeowners out there in terms of you know what kind of competitive pricing can you get for a professional install. So folks, this has been a head-to-head -head comparison of the Enphase IQ Battery 5P and the new Mango Power M battery system. Um, of course, if you're getting good value from these videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That's why as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner and you're in the process of looking at different solar power and battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for one of these two options or, or any of the leading battery options, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, I thank you all for spending some more time on Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.